Good morning from Table Rock, South Carolina. with the boons and we're on another adventure that's right we're up here in table rock south carolina so we're staying here at table rock state park and we're staying in cabin 10 cabin 10 cabin 10 and we're going to take you on a tour in case if you decide to come up here to the state park right There's plenty of things to do fun and exciting and it's beautiful on the way up here it's that's a beautiful right. drive we tried to pull up on youtube a lot of uh information about the cabins and they weren't that informative. So we're gonna show you a full tour of Cabin 10 that we stayed in while we were up here for the weekend. And we're also gonna take you on a drive and show you some of the other cabins that are in this area as well. They have a campground and they also have like a little water area that has like a beach and all that that you can go out and swim in. So. That's right, let's take a look. First of all, Let's take a look at what cabin 10 looks like from the outside here. Cabin 10. See that? It fits about maybe two cars could fit here in this particular driveway. And we do have the big car this weekend. All right. All right. And before we go in, we'll take a look back here at the fire pit. Of course, we brought our firewood, we'll show you shortly. And you can come out this door. There's a little path. Right, here's all the way back here. And there are some wooded areas to like give you some privacy in between each cabin. Right. And that's our friends in that cabin right next door. It's kind of private, like she said. It gives you a little bit of the feel of privacy anyway. So you got several chairs, fire pit, Here's your little grilling station here. So make sure you bring your own charcoal. And they do have a camp store on site so that you can get wood from them. Mm -hmm. So you have to bring your own charcoal and your own wood. That's right. And they have a chopping block. And just in case you want to chop some wood, they have this handy dandy chopping block. And so all of them have like this nice little outdoor area mm -hmm. that has the picnic tables along with the fire pit right. and the chairs to surround them. But you can bring extra chairs because we have some friends up here and we were all gathering at one place. So they brought their folding chairs if you want to do that, if you have a large family. There's a small lake nearby and they brought the chairs for that as well. Okay, and here's the little pathway. Yeah, back That's to cute. the cabin. That's right. And we'll go check out the inside. The best thing about this is the front porch. It's screened in front porch mm -hmm. so you can have your morning coffee. Now, I brought a bug light, bug zapper light, and some bought some firewood. Look at this, nice porch. Comes with two ceiling fans. Go check out the inside. And like I said, we came in last night, so we do have our stuff. Yeah, so it's not empty, because we've already unloaded a lot, as you can see. But you got your fireplace and a nice big TV that they said is a smart TV. Yes, and they do have free Wi-Fi here. On the internet, they do say this is a two queen-size cabin with a pull-out bed. Right. Just to let you know, we do have our family coming, and that is not a pull-out couch. No, nope, it's not. So luckily, we brought air mattress. Just to be on the safe side. So that yeah. came in handy. Show them how this works. Back away. Our friend showed us this last night. Ooh, how about that? <laughs> 
So this is in every cabin as well. So you can lay back and kick your feet up mm. and watch some TV. Show us the kitchen, baby. Look at this spacious kitchen that they have. They have a microwave, an oven, a side-by-side -side refrigerator mm -hmm. with an ice maker and a water dispenser. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they have, for you coffee lovers, they have coffee. And, and they have Keurig. And then they also have a toaster and an mm -hmm. electric can opener. So let me see if I can light this up. And look at all the plug-ins. Yes. See all the plug-ins? And I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all want to do this, but they do have utensils and plates and stuff. And as you can tell, we brought all our plastic ones because we're on vacation and we don't feel like washing dishes. So we right. brought paper plates. We brought filters. Right. And, you know. And they give you a complimentary coffee here from Table Rock. It says... uh you know, enjoy your first cup on them, but we brought our own. And if you do like their coffee, they sell it in the campground store. That's right. So you mentioned the stove. I did. And the microwave. And there's a table here. You can put all your junk on there like we did. Let's see here. So it's very spacious. Right. I like the open concept. Yeah, you there's know. a nice, you can see the wood, wooden, everything. It's very country fine, woody. Mm -hmm. I like it. Now, let's check out the bedrooms in the bathroom. And let's take you into the bathroom. You got your shampoos, soap, and conditioner. They even have like a little makeup towel. And like I said, we got in last night. There's all your towels, so you don't have to pack your towels. A nice walk-in shower. And they also have your toiletries. And I don't see extra toilet paper, so you might want to bring extra toilet paper. And there's a little shelf right above it where you can store it. But we're only here for a weekend, so hopefully that will do it for us. And there's even a little storage closet. So you can put your coolers or whatever you may need to put in there to get it out of the way. Let's check out the bedrooms. This is a two bedroom cabin. Both beds are queen size beds. They have your mirrors, two outlets on the side. No, actually four outlets on the side of the wall. And then they have a cabinet that you can put your clothes in. And two nightstands. And we hung our clothes, as you can tell, we got in last night. Yes, the night lights are throughout the cabins. So they'll lead you to the restroom and everything in the night. And this is, um, the bathroom is in the middle of the two bedrooms as well. And so the second room here, it's pretty much like the first room. You got your mirror, some sideboards, nice bed. Of course, like I said, we've, we've already been here for a day. You got this cabinet here. And a beautiful view of the woods and the mountains. Out here at the road, they've got these specialized trash cans so the bears cannot get your trash. And while you're here, just like in the real mountains, make sure you don't leave stuff out like food and pizza and don't leave it in your car either. It's a big no-no because the bear will bust in your car and get it. This is cabin four, and what'd you say, how many cabins are there? There's 12 cabins, and I'm not sure how many bedrooms. We're 12. in cabin 10, and our friends are in 11, and we have some more friends on this side of the street. They're in uh, seven, I do believe. Yes, that's right. So here's a sign that says cabins, five, six, seven, and eight. And, and check if, out that view. Right, if you look right through there, look at that mountain. Awesome. I guess these are considered mountains because I mean, we're still in South Carolina, but we're like about, what's it, 10 miles or 15 miles from the North Carolina line. So we're right at the foothills in between the mountains and foothills, I guess. And now five, six, seven, and eight. And we're not going to show you all the cabins, just kind of a overview of how close they are together and what it kind of looks like. And each one of these cabins, it looks like they have, except for these two, looks like they have uh, horseshoes. So, and their their horseshoes are provided too, so you can come out here and play with your friends. On our hill, it had horseshoes as well. Right. And here's some history on 
the reason a lot of the park buildings look very similar in different parks. And I think there's a mixture up here, so some cabins are larger than others and they have a different layout. And if you go onto the website, you can see the layout of each cabin. But you also remember, when you're sitting up there, we remember this time bug spray. Yes. These gnats and bugs and flies will get all in your mouth. Bug spray and bear spray. <laughs> yeah, bears won't get in your mouth though. That's true. <laughs> at least we hope not. Look at this beautiful view. And this is the way to cabins one, two, and three, and to the lake. There's a parking lot right before you get to the lake. And a playground area. And a nice little playground area for the kiddos. And there's a walking path down there too that you can get to. You don't have to come back hard. Table Rock State Park parking. And this is the beach area I was telling y'all about. So we'll take you down there and show you where you can go fishing and Swimming. Yes. And I also think they um, rent paddle boats and all that as well. So up here in Table Rock, you have your nature center, trailhead, restroom, and the Foothills Trail. Oh, and an e-charger. How about that? So Table Rock concession right here. And here's a closer look at the small lake with your swimming hole. And over there are the paddle boats, pedal boats. And here's your pedal boats. They call them paddle boats. And some kayaks. And you gotta swim at your own risk. No lifeguards. And you must stay within the rope area. That's what it says. <laughs> Yep, that's right. And there's someone out there fishing early in the morning, way out there. And Catch it's it. about, what do you think, 78 degrees? We'll check whenever we get back in the car. But it uh, is nice It is out a here. lot um, cooler than it is at Myrtle Beach. It is. And they have a lodge up there. And we've seen on other videos that it's never open. I don't know when they open it. You get to it by the steps right there. I don't think we're going to tackle that this morning. <laughs> no. There you have it. That was a full tour of the cabins and their amenities. Right here at Table Rock, South Carolina. Make sure if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to this channel to keep up with what's going on around these crazy adventures, especially that, at the beach. That's right, because there's more to come. So make sure you subscribe and hit that share button. It helps the channel. Until next time, keep beaching. Or hiking. Or mountaining. <laughs>